Comes the final map of the quarterfinals here, a legendary matchup. LDLC and Fnatic now, let's get it on. This is the beginning, and now Fnatic taking control amid lots of maids, as you said. So this really gives you some options here. But JW pushing all the way up, right to the top of mid, getting close to the entry to this A site. And LDLC have got a solid defense set up here. Three members already holding, so the, the defense is going to be brutal because the way this site works, it's one single choke point to get into it, and Fnatic would all have to run through. But they are going to use some of these nades now, Fnatic, and this could potentially set up that fake. I mean, they yeah. have the bomb close, but they aren't all here. No, I think you're right. This is going to be a fake. They're just making sure that no one's on the rest of the map. They do get the early kill on JW, which is good, but they need to worry about the speed bomb site. And actually, LDLC are still here. They haven't moved an inch, which is great news for the French team. NBK putting out some shots. Happy's missing too. What's going on? Finally, they get the kill, and NBK gets a chance to reload. The bomb is going to go down at the very least here for the Fnatic team. But now the cavalry has arrived, and it's LDLC charging the bomb site. No one's died yet on the CT side. Crims trying with the burst fire, but it's a flawless round for LDLC. Stunning start as Happy picks up a quad kill. And LDLC LDLC just completely shut down Fnatic. That cavalry, I mean, that was white horse, you know, just guns blazing, perfect moment there for Happy to come through. And I guess he brought his pocket guillotine too, because Fnatic, they stuck their head into that site, and before you knew it, it was gone. Yeah, and it was against peasants with sticks. It's, you know, true French <laughs> style, just, you know, beating on the ball people like that. LDLC without a chance at all. I don't know what to say. This is uh, this is Sandy start they needed. This, I mean, again, if you're new to this uh, game and if you're new to this map, you haven't seen it before. Maybe you come from 1.6 or Source, and you haven't really followed Go that much. Um, just think Nuke. This is almost like Nuke in terms of, of balance. So, uh, so that's a big, obviously a big deal winning that pistol, Aaron. Absolutely. Now it looks like Fnatic are actually gathering up here outside of Source, so they could be looking for some kind of play. I mean, only a single flash here on Fronax, so it looks like they want to just flash and run gathering up right on the edge of this smoke. They could try and zerg it in here, and NBK, his position, Happy gets flashed as well, but Happy and NBK keeping their cool. Shoxie is here to lend a hand, and this is looking like a very solid hold for LDLC. Only losing one man so far, and that's all that's gonna happen. They managed to save the M4A1 as well, so LDLC going to be very pleased with that second round. Now, it's kind of cool. I mean, we're obviously in uh, sort of at the heart of esports in Sweden here at DreamHack, Jun Shipping. And in spite of that, Fnatic, obviously, the, the, the home team right now. But LDLC actually have a lot of fans in the crowd. Every time they do something, there's a, there's a significant amount of people cheering for them. So that's very nice to hear that the, the French are getting a little bit of support as well. Fnatic, they got the bomb plant the first round. Last round was kind of a throwaway one. We do see the boost here from Smith, and you can do that later on with the Orb or an auto sniper to great effect. And we did see that uh, earlier in the tournament as well, being used to some uh, to some effect as well. Fnatic, they do have rifles though. Yeah, and this is actually something that LDLC have, have shown earlier in the tournament as well. So Fnatic, I mean, knowing Pronax, he's definitely done his homework. He knows that LDLC favor that. So I'm, I'd be really surprised if that play was very if that boost was super effective for LDLC. I think Fnatic are going to be taking that into consideration. Now look at how far back LDLC have de are defending right now. Previously, this hasn't been the best choice. Actually, you need to take control of the of the whole toilets area. If you go this far back, you can definitely lose control of the bomb site a little bit faster. Good entry frag in favor of Fnatic as Happy goes down, and LDLC still got plenty of time just to, trying to see if they can uh, wind it down with some smokes here. They got one more Molotov left on Smiths as well. And they just want to keep Fnatic out for as long as they can. Flashbang through, Kyushima charges in, takes JW, and makes it almost back around the corner. I think they caught his heel then. Yeah, Pronax, that was the shot right there. And now Fnatic, 35 seconds left, and they're deciding to change things up. LDLC, they think that this is going to be the A push. They have two guys here, but there's still a man, NBK, alive, and he is in position to stop this push coming up on short. The question is, will Fnatic have the time now? 20 seconds left. Olofmeister has found one. NBK with the mad spray, but he's low on bullets, and he gets overwhelmed. And Shoxie as well. Fnatic in the third round with extremely patient play, get on the board. This is a one turnaround here. LDLC, they just don't have the money right now. And that was another thing I was wondering, are they going to make that same mistake that they made on cash and feel that pressure and give into it and go for some kind of force, take an economic risk? And it doesn't look like that's gonna happen this time around. LDLC are going to keep their cool and just eco. I'm very pleased to see that because I think we've been criticizing it almost every step of the way. So now that they finally do it, we should have given some credit for, for playing it like this. They did buy some pistols, which is good. I mean, why not get the opportunity if you can? The MBK charges in, and it's a good headshot here onto JW as we get started in the fourth round. Nicely done. That's actually a bit of an issue for Fnatic because they got to be careful. They could easily lose. They have to re-engage again. 
And if they lose the next re-engagement, that's going to be an issue. Nice boost up here, but they can't find the shot. And Pronax, the hero of last round, who picked up three kills in that last round, comes up with a good shot there on Happy. I, does, I mean, that was a little bit uh, jumping the gun there from Happy. It looked like he got a little too excited. Didn't control the spray well, and Pronax will definitely punish you for that kind of mistake. Now, Fnatic, they still have 55 seconds left on this clock and a few nades to work with as well. So this should be a situation that they should be able to work their way out from. But LDLC are gathering up now. They want to just put as many pistols as possible here. Kirishima up close with the Deagle. I mean, three of them right now are holding. If Fnatic decide to run in here, this could turn into a blender situation. Yeah, this is a great decision from LDLC. I love the fact that they're all still here, and obviously Fnatic are going to go for it. They don't really have a lot of time now, so they are committing to the A bomb site here. And LDLC, this is enough to stop them. The C set 75 could definitely uh, deal enough damage. Kyushima has the Deagle, and he's going to peek out just at the right time. Pronex got looking the wrong way. The Crimson will get returned. This is all on it here for Fnatic. If they give up this round, it's going to be such a big turnaround here for LDLC. They'll flush just somehow, get two kills right in that smoke from the other angle. And now Smith's here, one on two. Very low on health as well. Without a kit, without any armor, he charges over, and it's going to get shut down. Crims will finish the round. That was very close. A fanatic hold on to it. Now with a great save, with a great save, the wall bang through and he gets the job done there, keeping Flush alive. And that is so important for Fnatic's money as well, keeping guns. I mean, when we're talking about how CT side of this map is, Fnatic are definitely going to want the rounds over the weapons, but having the guns is definitely going to make their lives easier. And now JW actually has that AWP to play with as well here. No sniper rifle picked up yet for LDLC. So they're going to be relying on the rifles, they're going to be relying on the nades. But one thing I do like here is that LDLC are starting to put a little bit of pressure out in mid. They are pushing up and not just sitting back on the site. They are willing to press a little bit here to make sure that Fnatic don't get too comfortable and basically feel too comfortable, you know, so comfortable that they just walk up to a site and start setting up. Yeah, I think that's that's a good idea. That's like the minimum you have to do is at least push up to the to the restrooms and just try and see if you can maybe put a few shots in and then fall back. And you could do it even more. But as opposed to the team that does it way more, they take control all the way over the picnic area alongside of the AA a bomb side of the map here. So, so that's something that they do, but... Seems like Fnatic are uh, quickly back in control here. They're going to smoke off the bank, and then are they going to be able to make it through? LDLC do have three members on this bomb site, and that should actually definitely be enough to hold it down here. I think it's going to be tough for Fnatic to make it through. Oh, nice nades there leading on to Smiths. He's down to 20 HP already. He hasn't even seen anybody from Fnatic yet. That does, be, that does get a little frustrating there if you're on your CT side. But with 40 seconds left here on the clock, Fnatic still have the bomb waiting outside the safe site. Smith decides to push forward, and he walks into a firing squad. Fnatic, all of a sudden, they may have the opening that they need. They're gathering up outside this A site, and with 30 seconds left, this push is about to come in. Uh, Kiyoshima in the background. Shocks up close to the container. More grenade training on in. Shocks. Now he's being called for. His team needs him. He comes in here with the first kill. Six bullets left, and he's going to go down. A great entrance for Fnatic. They pick up the bomb, and they're going to be able to put it down to the very least. Olofmeister. Is now using that container to try and hide from, but now it's all on Crims. He goes down on the retake. It's pretty much perfect for LDLC. They did lose a lot of players, and Fnatic got the bomb down. So actually, in spite of the fact that Fnatic lose the round, this is still sort of a success for them, because as long as they can keep LDLC this low on economy, that is really good. Just like on Nuke, the, the, the key to winning the Terry side of Nuke is never letting the CT side get away with any kind of money. As long as they are low on economy, you're doing a fine job, even if you're losing you know, six, seven rounds in a row, it's still all right. Mm -hmm. Exactly, because if you win that one yep. round, then you force them onto Eco, you get another round on the board, and you can start playing from there. So, so long as Fnatic can keep the pressure up on the Frenchman, this is good for them. LDLC, however, they do manage to save a good chunk of money by picking up JW's AWP, and Happy is going to be the one using it. When he, we've seen him use it to great effect at the main entrance to B site in the tunnel. So we'll see if he manages to make that work this time around. Yoshima gets flashed in to connect her, but he isn't going to find anybody there, despite the fact that Olofmeister was lurking. Instead, it's NBK on short, pushing forward and taking out JW. And Happy comes up with that shot. It's just like we introduced here. The bomb is even down in the pipe, just waiting, and Happy's going to cleverly smoke it off. He can still see it, so that is a huge impact kill. That one click there just did a lot for LDLC, and what they need more than anything is coming out of this round with everybody alive. If they can get up with four or five members still living, that is such a big win for them. More smoke's raining in, and the whole of LDLC just pretty much rotating in to cover this bomb, as they definitely should. Fnatic now throwing out the smoke. This is such a weird game that's being played down here, and Happy not connecting with the scope. They make the... Oh, almost! He catches him just at the stairwell, and now Pronax is going to pick it up and try to see if he can rally that bomb out of here, but... They've already lost more than half their team just fighting over that bomb. Pronex and Olofmeister are left with 
almost no chance in hell. Uh, 30 seconds left on the board. They have three flashes to work with as well. Pronax is going to have to win this fight. He catches MBK jumping, but he doesn't actually do any damage. And LDLC right now are in such a good position. Olfmeister attempting to get lucky with the wall bang, but MBK is going to find his leader. Pronax is down. The bomb is down. And now it's up to Olfmeister to do some economic damage. Get a kill or two here. Don't let LDLC have a perfect round. Olofmeister charging in. Oh. It will be just that. Did you see the knife? He was going for the knife. <laughs> of course he was. That's exactly what they should do. At that point, you just want to humiliate fans. So you want to bring them down really low. So no bomb plant, a lot of money for LDLC coming out with everybody alive and Fnatic with very low money as they didn't get a chance to plant and they've been losing a couple of rounds here. So LDLC reasserting some control. It's still not really perfect, but it's looking a little bit brighter now for the Frenchman. They do need to finish at at least 10 rounds. That's like the minimum they can get away with here. If they if they only get a 9-6 or something, that's not good. A 10-5 is even scary. 11-4, that's when you start smiling a little bit. That's exactly right, you know. But this is, I mean, this round right here is going to be great for LDLC because they're starting to get a little bit of a cushion, a little bit of a bank. Now Fnatic, hard ego from them. This is a golden opportunity now for LDLC to get a lot of money put away for the rounds to come. And Fnatic, they know this. They're trying to put pressure on here fast towards this A site. Fresh smoke goes down, and that's Pronax out in the open. Ulfmeister is gone as well. The bomb rotates over here for Fnatic, but they have yet to make any kind of headway onto this site. They're just getting picked up left and right, and LDLC, this, they could be potentially looking at two perfect rounds, and this is excellent, just so good for their money. It definitely is. JW, the last man left here, and he's just going to come and find him. They don't even care anymore. So five and two, a good three-round lead. A lot more money, as you said here, going into it for LDLC. MBK starting off at 9,200, but everybody is looking pretty healthy right now, and that does make a big difference, obviously. Now the eighth round, there's no AWP picked up on um, JW, couldn't afford it, so they're going to go all AKs. They do have a lot of smokes, no Molotovs, which is a little bit of a shame because there's so many places from the terrorist side which you can use Molotovs to clear out some common CT spots. So I'm kind of hoping we can see that, but I do like the aggression coming up from LDLC this time, moving much further up. And they are going to find the first player here, Pronax, flash in, but Pronax comes out on top. Krim's okay. waiting down here, and that's two great frags in favor of Fnatic. And a perfect timing on the flash for Pronax. This is actually spun all the way out of control for LDLC. And I was about to say, you know, they've had two rounds now to really start building some confidence, and that confidence may have come back to bite them there, taking those fights. Happy, however, may have an opportunity here. Plus up. I think he just barely steps away in time. That was way too close. And it's going to be Shoxy now to step out and take the fight versus Scrims and win it, hands down. Good return kill. Smiths is about to walk right into Pronax, and he comes out on top. So in a matter of a few seconds, this actually equalizes back into a three-on-three. -three. Smiths taking the fight here, jumping on the bench. All of Mice is going to come out on top, and that's an important kill. Now it is a two-on-three, and Shox is the only one defending this B bomb site. If they come for him and he doesn't get a whole lot of kills, that's going to be horrendous. All of Mice faking out this A bomb site is trying to make a lot of noise, throwing in grenades. He goes down to Happy, who just got in position with that artillery. Now it's going to be down to Shox. It goes for the kill, takes down JW and drops the bomb to the tables of turn one second, and it's on Flusher. He comes in, he's going to be able to pick up the bomb. Can he make his way back and actually put it down in time? Happy's got his sensor in position on the other side, and Flusher can't make the crossover. It's Happy opening again and doing a very good job. He's top fragging at 10, 2, and 3. I mean, we did we did give the warning. Happy just does something on this map that works with the AWP. Uh, this is definitely one of his strongest maps, but this is also just incredible play from LDLC. Smith with this kill on Pronax is huge, but Shoxy with the mind games, he plays it. I mean, versus Flusha, who's like the clutch master extraordinaire. Flusha thrives in these scenarios, these 1v2s, 1v3s, where he's able to play against his opponents and use their minds against them. Shoxy comes out in top, and that's the caliber of Shoxy that we need to see here for LDLC to pick up a win today. Fnatic, that they may be a bit rattled after that round. They certainly have to be feeling like they could have had that, that round in the bag. It should have been. Those kind of entry frags, um, that, that they are worth their weight in gold, and it's very rare that you can get two without dropping anybody. Now they're going to charge in here, try and see if they can get the bomb down, but MBK is just a little bit too solid right now. Takes the first two coming in. No scope, headshot, and a oh, 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 oh. up. Style points at the end there for Happy. It's a triple kill for him. He's 13, 2, and 3. So good. Of all smiles, man. Thank you, Happy, for living up to your name. I mean, this is just, this is style points right here. Uh, okay, well then.
Great anti-eco again for LDLC. And the money is now starting to build on their side. So again, this is just an excellent position for LDLC to find themselves in. Fnatic are the ones who are currently reeling. No AWP picked up for JW. It looks like Fnatic really want to be quick on their feet. And they are going to go rushing straight into mid. Smith will not hit his entry shot, however. So a bit unfortunate there for LDLC, but they still managed to know exactly at least where one member of Fnatic is on the map. Now, that last position that Kiyoshima just ran into is very, very grenadable, especially with the Molotovs that Fnatic have, but they're just charging on through JW and Crims. Fantastic opening, Crims with another headshot. He burns alive just as he clicks the trigger in. It's MVK taking down Pronax, and we're back into a 2 on 2 It is not over yet. Fnatic need this round. They must win this round, otherwise it's going to be horrendous. Great wall bang for Happy there, or on to Happy. JW takes him down, and now it's MVK one on 2 and they know pretty much exactly where he is. He's going to try and charge in here. He almost gets a jump. Shot. Fnatic challenging a lot now, and they are doing the damage while topping him out, and JW, the Wonder Child, comes through. Triple kill. That one wall bang in the center of all of it was absolutely beautiful, and it's going to be a third round for Fnatic. They need to win two more in a row here before they can start digging into LDLC's economy, but it's still good. Again, four is doable. If they win four rounds here and they get the pistol, they oh. have a definite chance of doing this. Absolutely. I'm just, I'm still just stunned at how quickly Fnatic were able to take over that site after Smith. I mean, they were, they weren't to be put off from taking control of that A site right from the start. They run through the fire, and then it's just a series of flashes putting LDLC on their heels. It's going to be NDK after a flash here to Soar to take a peek, but he doesn't get a kill from it. Instead, it's going to be Shoxi to pick off Prince to start here for LDLC. But this is such a brawl between both of these teams. Action right from the start. When at the beginning of the half, it was very slow-paced gameplay. W and Happy on the other side. They're just trying to guess these angles through it. If anybody comes out on top here, definitely going to have a big impact. So far, just a lot of bullets being wasted. Four on five, still a good opening. You can't always rely on that. The smoke is going to land all the way up at the sniper spot. So really good. Uh, Idea coming into it here, more flashbangs, more grenades following through. Fnatic are setting up, and now the avalanche is just rolling down the hillside. Fnatic getting in here again. Speed has been the key for Fnatic with their success so far in the first half. A great grenade lands right in the face of Happy and brings him almost down, but it's MBK with the return. JW coming in here with the AK, looking for the opening, but Chox will take him down. It's now a 2 on 3. The bomb not even going to go down, and MBK, they clean it up at the end. Great double kill. It looked like Fnatic had one opening there, and they couldn't make it work. They couldn't exploit it. Shoxi staying alive basically ruined this day. If JW gets that kill there, Shoxi is gone, and then the defense is weakened for LDLC, and they're able to get control and get that plant. Instead, Shoxi just basically comes through with the help of NBK and locks down the site for LDLC. Despite Fnatic just trying to fight tooth and nail to get in there, it did not work out for them. And once again, they're on eco here. Their money is still too uneven as across the board as we can see there, thanks to the scoreboard. So this is it. Twelfth round running out of rounds here in this first half. And Fnatic right on the edge of having a very successful one. If they can just get past this point, get up to four or five, they will be walking out of this first half fairly happy going into their CT side. LDLC, all pressure on them to continue with this performance. Yeah, I think that's the key. No celebrating just yet. You have to just soldier on here. Make sure that you don't give up or don't just celebrate too soon and, uh, and feel like you've won it because this can change so quickly. Right at the edge of a knife currently. Flashbangs in on Kiyoshima. They're getting kind of close here, but he's got Shoxi to back him up, and that's going to be a clean-up round here. LDLC coming out with every single member alive once again. So their economy wasn't exactly getting low, but it is still important that LDLC just keep this afloat. They, the last thing they can afford is to somehow eco in the last round, and the way it's looking out, that won't happen either. It seems like even if they lose two in a row here, they'll get the round loss bonus, and they'll keep stepping it up, so they should be able to buy for the remainder of this game. It's the 13th round coming up, and Fnatic even ecoing that one time. Not exactly an impressive buy going into it, but I do appreciate the Molotovs. Last time they bought these two, they actually just rushed A, and the Molotovs were used after the plant went down, which is still good. A good way to actually force it out here, but um, we'll see if it's going to make a difference. The attempted boost there, but not connecting with the shot. It's going to be MBK instead. One health left, and he will go down, so Fable will trade for Fnatic. The question is if Happy actually pushes forward and decides to play this aggressive versus JW, who's working right there, but there you go! Point blank on JW. Happy ends him, and this is now man advantage for LDLC. Happy in a perfect position to stop this push coming in from Fnatic as well. This AWP in his hands, he's looking godlike right now. Grenade train in. 
even and ready with the Molotovs to try and clear the barrels if they need to. But you're right, Happy is coming to his own, but he's going to go down. The Caster's Curse coming in. Kiyoshima gets killed right afterwards from all of Meister. Flusher wanted to pick up that rifle, but he just cannot, and it's a 2-1-2. They need this round. They need this bomb plant right now. Fnatic, this is very important for them. LDLC trying to deny it. Miss is going to pick up the one kill. Now it is a one-on-one. -on -one. The Molotov, no, but it's oh. missed. Perfect timing with a double kill, and all of Meister caught just uh, with a grenade in hand there. 10-3. And Fnatic, well, they can't really summon a buy. The best they can do right now could go for two AKs and two Galils. That would be crazy if they did it. So instead, I think they're going to go for the 15th round, see if they can't make this 11-4, which again is very... They can do that. It still works if they can. Boost off from Smiths here, but I don't think he's going to get a target. I don't think so this time. Actually, I believe he's got two rifles to work with there, Smith, if I'm not mistaken. He had an M4 and he was juggling with an op and an M4. So that's interesting. A little thing to note there for LDLC. That defense on A could be pretty stiff. And now, Happy once again holding, just looking down these tunnels. Fnatic have learned to fear this angle. This is Happy's domain. If you come in with a frown, well, you're leaving with a frown. You're not, it's not going to end well. Flusher is kind of over on that side of the map. And MBK is pushing up. Flusher could get a free kill here. CZ75 running out of bullets. And MBK has one of his zones and is going to charge Flusher back into that corner. Almost hurting him back here. And Flusher really wanted to go for the pre-fire. Backup has arrived and eventually MBK will go down. So they get the kill in return here and that's all right. They can get the bomb down. That'd be huge for them. That can come back to haunt MBK actually. They've just given an M4 over to, to Fnatic. JW now has a rifle to work with. So maybe getting a little ahead of himself. And those are the kinds of plays that LDLC need to avoid making right now. Giving any kind of edge to Fnatic, you cannot count them out. Even if it's a two on four, doesn't matter. JW has a gun and he can still take your head off. But it looks like Fnatic now this time around is changing it up. They're going to go for this A site once again. Smith is trying to stand his ground. And again, not really necessary to be taking the fights. And eventually, LDLC coming out on top. It is scary giving away that one rifle, but um, they managed to secure the situation anyway, and it's 11 to 3, the 15th round, the last one of the first half here. Third map going into the map score is 1 1. It was Fnatic that ended up winning on Dust 2 LDLC came back, oh, sorry, LDLC won on Dust 2. Fnatic came back really strong in cash and ended up taking that in style. And now here, I mean, the beginning of this uh, this map, it's LDLC looking good, but it is too soon to call it. The pistol around the second half is going to be the absolute deciding factor right now. There's the peak, and Olaf Meister is going to miss his shot. He gets legged instead. Happy deciding not to repeat behind that as well. That's a great play. And on the other side of the map, this is when LDLC decided to change up their play. They're doing something they haven't really done yet in this half, pushing up so far aggressively. This is exciting now. It's going to lead to Smith dying. However, he gets caught out in the open. Fronax there to cut him off, but Yoshima will pick up a frag on Olaf Meister, and it's right back into a four on four. A lot of confusion now on Fnatic. They're not really sure if they should be pushing or trying to look for Kiyoshima. And this is a pretty big map. You know, it could be looking for a long time. And obviously, about a minute, they're going to lose around if they keep doing this. So Fnatic needs to make up their minds. Are we looking for Kiyoshima or are we trying to push somewhere else? Because right now, Kiyoshima is actually just doing great work, just staying alive. He's very low on health. Grenade follow up here, but Crims gets caught with MBK coming out of the connector, and this is looking strong right now for LDLC. Flush are finally coming into it. They almost catch MBK. The flashbang follow up, but he just makes his escape down to his underground lair like some sort of evil villain. He escapes, and it's going to be a three on three with up in the A bomb site. Happy covering in 25 seconds. Again, that's Kiyoshima just burning all that time off. This is going to be a tough way to make it through with shocks and the crossfire with the AWP here very hard so instead they're gonna go B side MBK gets found the perfect choice here for Fnatic this fourth round could mean everything the bomb is gonna go down happy taking up the one kill here on flush an hour two on two nice headshot from Pronex Fnatic looking for the last round but it's gonna be a one-on-one -on -one. Pronex he's already got the triple kill and he just needs one more getting the quad sealing the round here would be such a big deal happy He's got a smoke. If he puts it off on this side, Pronax is going to be in a tough position. He smokes the bomb instead, fakes it once, runs out right at the edge, and he gets the kill. Oh, happy. A stunning performance from him. He ends at 17 kill. Tied top fragging with Sharks, who's also at 17. That's such a good way to end it for LDLC. 11, sorry, 12 to 3 here. <laughs> let's, just, let's just pause and enjoy this. Like long range shot there with the with the CZ already. That was fantastic. But happy man, happy that round right there. 
And I was thinking that was actually one of the perf most perfect calls you could make as Fnatic because they know that NBK, they chased him back down connector. Likelihood is he's going to be over on the B site. We know he's low. Question is if there's going to be an extra man there, but they can't really do anything about that. They know that there's a man who is wounded, so there's an easy target. Get onto that B site, overwhelm him quick, and get the plant. What they didn't account for is for Shoxi and Happy to play out of their minds and just come in and clean up. Because it wasn't necessarily bad positioning for Fnatic, although the man who got caught on that site taking that fight and getting picked up by the CZ, that definitely came back to hurt Fnatic in that scenario. A really interesting first half here because it was looking really great for Fnatic early on. They, they, they saved the round, they didn't buy anything in the second round, then the third round they come back, win it, they win the follow-up round, and that's when LDLC looked like they're about to, to hit the brick wall and it's going to be really bad for them. But then LDLC win five rounds in a row, Fnatic win a single round, and then it's another five in a row for LDLC. That's a pretty solid performance. And if you look at the Fnatic scoreboard, nobody on the Fnatic side is above nine kills. Eight is the most currently on Pro-X, but everyone is, you know, sub nine. And that's a problem when you see that shot Fox and Happy are dropping 17, MBK at 16 kills. It is really terrifying at the moment here. Pistol round means everything. Otherwise, Fnatic could end up crashing out of this quarterfinals, essentially, in the final map. That would be a devastating result for them, obviously, on <laughs> home turf here. I mean, LDLC would be happy to get the revenge, but um, there's going to be a serious discussion going on right now on the Fnatic side about how to approach this pistol round, because it has to be won. And it has to be flawless from them, exactly. They have to make a statement, rock LDLC right here at the start, because LDLC are coming into this second half ultra confident. I mean, they had a near flawless first half here versus Fnatic. They have a great lead, a great head start going in here. Fnatic have to put them down hard. So let's see exactly what they have in mind. We're about to get into the second round here, or the, rather the second pistol round of the final map of this quarterfinal match, the deciding map to see who moves on into the semis of DreamHack Winter and who goes home for the last major of the year. All right, Sally right. yes. Make a little bit of noise for Fnatic. I think they need it here, DreamHack. They are on the home turf anyway, and I think right now, more than anything, they're going to need to simply win this pistol. And they are playing a pretty standard game, though. Do they have a weird boost going on currently? Yes, look all at of my this stuff. boost. Oh, my, oh God. my God. This is beautiful. He can look over oh. to the restrooms as well. This is Pronax being a genius. They did warn us that they had been planning something, and it's almost painful to see that it doesn't work out the way they wanted it to. That's very clever. But LDLC have no idea. I mean, they're going to be able to use that in gun rounds. That is huge. Okay, this is so much fun now. Things got real here with Fnatic. Where do, where do they actually manage to hold, however? That's the question. Where do LDLC decide to take this bomb? Because LDLC have been playing very patiently. They're currently yep. gathered up outside of B. They've got the bomb making its way there as well. They're about to go crashing in here. Now, do Fnatic have enough bodies on the site to stop this push? Yeah, Flusher here. He's going to put up a quick grenade here. Follow up as well, but he's just being charged down. It's a good follow up headshot there. Pronex will be able to take down Smith, but Flusher falls. LDLC, they are powering their way through into this bomb site. Quick bomb plant as well, and then they instantly escape. All of Meister catching one kill as they try and fall out of the bomb site for Fnatic. They need to get in here quick. They have to retake this. They can't let this go. And Kiyoshima goes down. It's shocks and MBK left. They are going to have to fight their way back to blueprint the defuse from happening. MBK down on the ramp. And there's the kill. Shocks comes in with another one here. And it's going to be a one on two. He just has to defend. It's a one headshot. He needs to pick up a second one. And he's going to get it. Double kill. LDLC. They win the round with that B push. Fnatic could not hold on to it. Oh, <laughs> the pressure is mounting on the Fnatic side. Uh, this here from MBK getting two for one like that and then leaving it up for Shoxi. Both of them so wounded on Fnatic and wounded in real life as well. They look shattered right now. Fnatic, this is definitely, I mean, when you come off of a streak like they've had, dominating every land final for the past month, just looking untouchable, coming into the major and going out in the corners, that is definitely not part of the plan here for Fnatic. Olofmeister again is boosted up here, looking all the way over with the scout in hand, but this is... This is incredible. I mean, for Fnatic to not get this boost working in the pistol round, having this as like your 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 ace, your ace up the sleeve basically, and then everybody just falls on the round. Nobody you going to play the hand at all. That's terrifying. LDLC looking immensely strong right now. They're avoiding that part of the map right now, LDLC. They really haven't gone through. The first man into that sort of uh, into that part is going to be Shoxi. But he, he doesn't even show himself. And what I'm wondering is. Do all the LC have the info? Oh. No, there we go. Follow Do Meister. Cut. He's not seeing them. Help. I have no idea why. I think he, yeah, I think he must have been looking at somebody else's monitor just in that second. It can't get worse than this, surely. 
Olofmeister is still waiting. The patience came coming. I can spot them coming out of Squeak Door as well. He's here. He sees them down there. Straight headshot. They have no idea. Smith's looking confused and dazed. And there's going to be a follow-up headshot. Olofmeister, you've got to be kidding me. He takes down Kirishima as well. Oh, it finally works. And now, Fnatic, if this is the comeback moment for them, this will be absolute history in Counter-Strike. It's Smith's taken down next. JW, the bomb is down, yes, but it's a 5 on 2. Shock's trying to keep it alive here for LDLC. And Happy will do a fine job in there, but it is the return. Fnatic, they pick up the round. The boost works. And that's going to be it. Beautiful. He was just he was just building up the suspense, Olaf Meister. He actually saw those guys go by, but he knew that he could do more damage if he let them go all the way down to Squeak. But this, this he had no idea. Smith just had no idea where that shot came from. They must have thought it was a wall bang. They must have thought somehow they we got wall bang there, and that's it. There's they have definitely got to be wondering what is going on LDLC. How did they possibly give up two frags there? Fnatic, that is a way back in, and that's definitely a huge confidence boost now for them, especially when they need it. But look, it's, a, it's actually a double, it's teamwork. It's real teamwork <laughs> that allows for this. It's a double, it's a triple man boost. This is so cheeky. Oh, it's hard not to love what Fnatic are doing right here. The LDLC, they just lost the round to it, and they, they still are not sure. They're just getting fired at. They're going down. All of my stuff, they have no idea. This is going to be frustration on a whole new level. Pronax taking another kill down here, and it's Happy alone in a one on four, and he's going to roll. JW makes it work. It's now 5 to 13. The crowd is absolutely fired up here. Imagine that there's two rounds in LDLC just asking themselves, how is this happening? Where are we getting shot from? But now, now the question is, do they send somebody in? Do they sack somebody just to try and figure it out? Do they go there again? Because they still have a buffer. They still have a lot of rounds to go up here, LDLC. Or do they just see this part of the map as written off? They can't possibly. I mean, you need sewers for so many plays. They can't just part, possibly just write this part of the map off at the, off of, out of their plans. No, but and it's 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 the restrooms okay, as well. Okay, look at we're happy. Look at we're happy. Oh, well, the boost isn't actually happening right now. Fnatic used it twice and they decided not to give any information, but I can guarantee you Happy was looking up there. He was trying to check the skyline. Oh, my God. A historical moment. That's the first time we see that variation of a very impressive boost. Smiths, a Kiyoshima back here, and obviously just pistols on the LDLC side. It's a very likely outcome that this is going to be 13 to 6, and... Fnatic have a long way back. This is not an easy comeback. Even though this is a CT-sided map, they can make no mistakes, but it's definitely doable. Oh, it certainly is. It certainly is. One round at a time, but if Fnatic have tricks like that, my mind is already just blown. It is gone. If they have anything more like that, I wouldn't even be surprised. I wouldn't even put it past Pronax. He's been impressing us with plays all year long. But Shoxi is going to find the one dig. Olaf Meister is gone. Revenge for the past couple rounds, Anders? I think so, yes. But, oh, follow-up kill there from MBK. Fnatic got to be careful here. They do have the main advantage in there. Certainly have the weapons to deal with this. Uh, good headshot from Crims. It's going to be able to take down MBK. And Happy goes down to flush with the follow-up. A little bit of a tense moment. But it's going to be all right. Fnatic have built a decent economy. They can take a, a few losses, still be able to buy here. And LDLC without a bomb plant for a couple of rounds means they are going to be... Uh, able to force it up here but it won't be too impressive again we don't see the awps we don't see the molotovs either so they are a little bit limited in how uh, how elaborate they can execute here in the 20th round auto sniper picked up on the lock meister and now i'm just wondering i'm just yeah. wondering is this going to be the case is he trying to try and shoot through or is he just going to look down there all right it's all right. happening again it's happening again but Let's see. I mean, do they give it away? Do they use it here? I mean, the, the, he, he hasn't even shown that he can use it towards top of mid like this. Fnatic, I mean, LDLC could run right oh. through here. They may have never... Wait, are they jumping around trying to check? No, I think he's just jumping. There it is. All of my stuff. He's raining down death from above. He's essentially just a god picking people out. Look at this field of view. He might as well be in a helicopter above the map at this point, just sniping people. This, this, is, this is cruel and unusual punishment, without a doubt, from all of the LPLC. This is torture. They, they've got to be wondering what the hell is going on. Are they going to get killed up here as well? He spotted MBK. If he gets a kill at this angle too, then 
are they just all going to report him? Is that the, the ultimate outcome here? He smuts Smith down there as well, but the push is going to be for A right now. Grenade on down, and it does hit Smith for 52 damage. JW follow up with a double kill. LDLC completely falling apart right now. Fnatic manhandling them. Smith goes down. <laughs> it's 13 to 7. That's only a six round difference right now, and LDLC have to eco again. And LDLC have to just be wondering. I mean, they have to be so deflated, so defeated, absolutely right here. This is it. JW pre fire, and they line up for him in that smoke. But this is what do you do in this scenario when you had everything? You had the wind in your sails, and they just shredded them. There is no hope anymore. Olaf Meister, once again, going to be put up here. Is he fast enough, however, to stop this? Is he going to spot them? Yes, he does. And they know exactly what's happening. The rush coming in from LDLC, speeding up towards this B site. And this is all about the plan here for LDLC. Can they get the job done? Even the information to know that there's rushes happening is so good. Nice return kills though from LDLC, in fact, but Olaf Meister's there, auto sniper in hand, and Flusher will pick up the final kill. This is just all Olaf Meister. He's just, he's forcing them back into this game. With this boost, he's up at 14 kills. Round for round, he's just, he's killing LDLC members and then grounding them into a found powder and using that to just pave the way, you know, into an asphalt made of dead LDLC members and paving the way for Fnatic. That's what's going on right here. It is ugly and it's brutal, but it is damn effective. And it is a thing of beauty. I mean, this is just, I mean, now they're going for it again. I mean, the power of this boost, LDLC still have not figured out where it's coming from. This is it right here. So Fnatic, I mean, Fnatic, of all the times to show this as well, it couldn't have been better after a horrible first half for them to be able to bring this play out and have it be so effective. This could just turn everything Ooh. around for Fnatic right here. But MBK, does he realize Olaf Meister spotted him? Does right. Kiyoshima see? Uh, he spots one person. If he gets a kill up there, I mean, you have to realize at this point, LDLC are not just losing the entry facts to this, they are also getting immensely frustrated. They have no clue what's going on. The frustration matters as much as the kills do right now. There's a, such a big, uh, just as big a deal right here. But they have no, that's the thing, they, and not only that, but it's just giving so much information. A fanatic, look at this, he sees half the map. He sees half the map. He knows exactly where they're going from. NBK, he unscopes just in time to miss that shot, but still spots them moving through here. And now Fnatic have the info they need to be able to set up to stop this push potentially. And they know exactly what's going on right now, Fnatic. They know they're right out there. Grenade is pretty good, does some damage. Now he's changed his position ever so slightly, and Smith wants to get the opening frag for once in favor of LDLC. They can still win this map. It's definitely not over yet, but Fnatic are taking strides to bring it back in. There's a good opening. Crims will pick up one, Krim up two. NBK finally takes him down, and it's a three on three. And Olaf Meister no scoping through the smoke and picks up the kill on Kirishima. The bomb has been picked up again, and NBK is putting it down. Molotov's rain in, but now Happy and NBK have a real chance of winning this round. It'll be a first in a long while here for the French team. NBK looking right at the edge. He's almost spotting it. I think he saw the gun barrel as well. He needs just one kill, and that could definitely set the in motion here, but he's going to go down. Happy falling as well. Fnatic with a perfect retake. And that's going to be the defuse. Now it's 13 to 9. Even without the boost, they're doing a good job. They really are. I mean, right now, Fnatic are keeping their... I mean, that's just... A, it's a, it's incredible. I mean, it's, it's almost impossible to describe what they're going through right now, Fnatic. It's a total 180 for everything to work out so effectively for them. And for LDLC, I mean, look, LDLC, they were smiling, they were laughing, they were slapping hands and shouting. Now, all of a sudden, it's quieter than the grave over there. They don't know what's happening. They have no idea. The Fnatic are setting up for, uh, for, the, for the now infamous boost up there as well. Imagine all of my still must be feeling kind of like you did playing Command and Conquer back in the day when you had an iron cannon and you were just able to shut down a whole army like that. And basically, he's in the sky. Might as well have been a satellite laser weapon up here for him. Is he going to be able to use it? I still, um, if they die at the restrooms to the same push, I, LDLC must have no idea. They must be thinking at this point, is he abusing the map? Yeah, they, but look at that. I mean, they, they refuse to show themselves now. MVK, he can't actually leave. He can't show himself out in the open. He's just going off at this small doorway of information that he has right now into sewer. And in mid, they're still pacing themselves, hugging the walls. I mean, this is just limiting LDLC in every way. It's giving information to Fnatic, but it's just, I mean, it's such a powerful move that Fnatic have. They have LDLC in a chokehold, basically. There is no getting out at this point. It's a full Nelson. Whatever, LDLC. Oh, man. Yeah, they're going to try and come out of the squeaky gang because all of my is definitely ready for them. <laughs> it's going to be Kiyoshima with a good smoke there to just block off the stairwell and LDLC 
They looks like they're going to make their way back to B, and all of my actually falling down from the roof spot, so there might be an opening here. There might be perfect timing for LDLC, and finally pick up a 14th round. Pronax flashed in here, and he's going to go down. That's a great opening from Smith. Now the game is on. LDLC can really do this. Good return from JW. Bomb gets planted, and LDLC have good positions, and this time the Sky Booster is not going to help them out. It's a four-on-four, four and it's a full-on retake here for Fnatic. They have the money. They are definitely going to go for it, but they need to move quick now. A lot of time has already passed, and Fnatic pacing themselves. JW coming up with a double kill now. They need a lot more. Olaf Meister going down. Happy avenging himself here. Flusher coming in. It's now a two on one. NBK has to try and solve this, but he cannot. Flusher with a triple. And there's going to be time for the defuse as well. It's 13 to 10. And it's Fnatic winning seven rounds in a row straight here. They lost the pistol, and it looked like that was going to be the end. And now they're back into it. I'm trying to puzzle out exactly what LDLC can do in this scenario because look at them right now. They they are blank. Nobody's talking. Nobody's communicating. Nobody's saying anything at all. They really no. don't have any clue as to what is happening right now. There was a point in time back in 1.6 before Dust 2 even came out. In Dust 1, you could boost up into the skybox at the CT spawn. That, I think, is what LDLC are feeling like. That's the most frustrating feeling in the world when some really annoying person was up on that skybox. But this is a very different thing, of course. This is completely legit. It's just a very, very uh, innovative boost here. But he, he's looking to spot down for people down at the restroom. He's not even looking this way. He still doesn't know that Olaf Meister's up here. Oh, they have no idea. But for this to happen to LDLC in the most imp important match of the year as well, of all the timing for Fnatic to come up with this play, to explore the map and figure it out, it's a real thing. I mean, it's perfection right here for Fnatic to be able to pull this off right now in one of the most important maps. But this is going to be LDLC slowly inching their way forward once again towards this A site. The question is now, are Fnatic going to be prepared? Because Olaf Meiser has changed up his position. He's no longer occupying that boost spot. This is definitely looking like it is going to be LDLC coming through here. Fnatic not giving them anything to work with either. Fnatic holding very passively at this point. 40 seconds left. LDLC are starting to run out of time, but they've got the nades, they've got the gear. Now it comes down to the shots. Do they actually land the shots when the push goes through? Happy's causing a distraction. If he gets one kill Happy down in that B-bomb site, it might be the opening that they need. But they're going to go in without Happy's uh, Q, and that's going to be lead to destruction here. It's JW and Olof Meister with the two opening kill. They're being completely ripped apart. It's 13 to 11. Fnatic. They don't even have to really move a muscle to finish that round. It's easy peasy for them. As the 25th round coming up, LDLC, they could force up if they wanted to. They can buy AKs on everyone except for Smiths, and they will do exactly that. But they do look completely dispirited at this point. Yeah, they I mean, it's a total 180 here for LDLC, but just you know the, how discombobulated their plays have become as well shows you clearly just what kind of state of mind they're in right now. Really, they don't even know what's happening anymore. So this is it. I mean, Fnatic are just five rounds away now from guaranteeing a spot in the semis. And for the first time, Happy ventures out into Soar once again, gives himself up to Olafmeister, but we don't know if Happy actually spotted where those shots were coming from. He was looking up in that direction. I think he might have finally realized. I mean, it's very late in the day for that to, to occur, but better late than never. Maybe if they know, they could do something about it. Uh, they're not going to have it. I mean, Olafmeister's going to take out NBK. We have a two-man advantage now for Fnatic. And LDLC, at this point, they're going to get ground down to a halt. There isn't much they can do. They're, they've got two smokes and a flash to take a bomb site. Shoxy needs to just, I mean, we need to see some of this first round magic come up here. Shot, like LDLC need to come alive again. Despite the fact that they don't know what they're dealing with from Olaf Meister, they have to land the shots elsewhere to be able to get onto these sites. This is so tough. I wish we had a recording of the kind of conversations that's going on on LDLC throughout this whole first half, second half, because It'll be very interesting to listen in and see what they thought about what's going on. I think they may have finally realize this. We'll have to see if they can actually change their style of play to kill Olaf Meister finally. JW will come up with a kill here on Smith. Shocks trying to get into the bomb site, but they can't even get the bomb down at this point. Finally, Shocks comes in with a kill, but it is too little, too late. Triple kill for Olaf Meister, and he is up at 19 kills, tied with JW. They're only just catching up to Shocks, MBK, and Happy Word. 23, 22, and 20, but they're winning this game. 13 to 12. Now it is definitely Fnatic with the advantage.
And now we have to see. Happy looks like he's pondering the scenario right now. Do they decide to try and push forward? Because, again, I mean, this is basically bread and butter now for Fnatic. They're going to keep doing this. Until LDLC force them to stop, they are going to keep going for this play. And it doesn't look like they are going to address this anytime soon either here, LDLC. They are getting control of Connector early, and it looks like they want to take control of mid fast here. They're not going into Sewer. I don't think Happy is pieced together exactly where the shots are coming in oh. from yet. This boost takes so long. They're going to rush before the boost even happens now. They're all the way up in the A-bomb side, but Crimson is there. Oh, no. All of them are the kill as well. They had this so well timed, but it's not enough. The bomb is dropped inside, and Fnatic, they are still just a brick wall. There is no getting through here. This was a great idea from LDLC. They wanted to get up before the boost went up, and they did. The boost saw nothing this time and it still doesn't work because Fnatic need three members in the bomb side to do the boost. They're already in position to deal with the rush, and that's why LDLC just ran right into certain death, and it's happy now. One on four, no chance at all here, and this round is going to equalize the score. It's going to be 13 to 13. Exactly. They are already in position to deal with it, and they're already in flank positions as well. They, they throw a single flash, a, thing, a single smoke, and all of a sudden that push comes to a halt for LDLC. So Fnatic, what is going to happen? And this is looking like it's going to be the pause coming in here from LDLC. I mean, in the next freeze time, Happy's going to buy some time here. They're probably talking over everything right now. But a pause, it's almost too late for a pause, it feels like. I mean, they have to just have that magical pause that Nip had yesterday when playing versus Hellraiser, or versus ESC, rather. I mean, <clears throat> and here it is now. Fnatic have to wonder exactly how much are they going to be able to piece together and what are they going to do now to address this. Well, the thing is, because they keep not putting the bomb down, they keep up being in this strange position, it's not like they have the option of going with a sniper and, and quickly peeking Olaf Meister and taking him down. They don't have the money for it. Well, as far as Fnatic are concerned, I mean, talk about just rocketing right back up to the top. 13-13 now, Fnatic. I mean, after such a fantastic... I don't think the crowd is helping LDLC much right now either. No, they're being taunted here. This is this is Sweden and Fnatic. Well, they got to be feeling pretty excited about that. Oh man, what a situation! What an absolutely crazy situation. You got to be careful. We don't say anything just in case uh, just in case they can hear us, which they definitely can as long as they don't wear the headsets. So. We'll be quiet about what's going on, but... but that, I mean, still, just a complete turnaround here of momentum. I mean, that was... But that, I mean, we almost never see that, where it just stopped completely cold. LDLC had everything going for them. They got the pistol. They locked everything down going into the second half. And it was just a, a complete and abrupt halt. There was just, all of a sudden, nothing they could do. And I don't think, I don't think these players have felt that powerless in a, in a round in a long time. Like, this is really a scenario where they, would, they may know and they'll know, okay, we're just not hitting our shots or we're just not getting the timing right. For the longest time, they had absolutely no idea what was happening at all. And they have clearly had to improvise on the spot a way to play this map without going into these areas. That's a really big thing as well. They are, they're, not even, they're not even getting a chance to go down the sewer. What a crazy situation. Yeah, it really is. This is, I mean, just awesome to see. But now it's going to come down to the final rounds here. I mean, that's, that much is clear. Each team now, at this time, needs three rounds to win. First to 16 rounds will take this map, take this best of three series, and have that spot secured in the semifinals going into tomorrow's final day. So we have to see now, are LDLC going to be able to regain their composure and figure out a game plan going forward? This is, this is the most important pause of the year here for this team. This is the most <laughs> important map of the year for LDLC. I mean, I've been checking out the social media and there's been a lot of talk about Counter-Strike. Uh, obviously, the Global Offensive subreddit, but over at the League of Legends subreddit as well, there's been a lot of people tuning in and saying they never watched Counter-Strike before. Uh, if you are just joining the game as a newcomer to the competitive scene, you're joining at a pretty good time right here. And you should definitely invite your friends to get in on this action here. Man, it's only the quarterfinals of this tournament and we're already having our minds blown at what's going on here. I mean, we knew this matchup was going to be good, but there's no way to predict it was going to yeah. be this good. No, I was crossing my fingers for overpass, but once we heard the rumors, it was like, okay, what do they have going? What do they have planned? No, I don't think anybody could predict this, though. This is just disgusting. And now we have to see, can LDLC come back from this scenario? We are live here in the 27th round. LDLC with a force of their own here. Galil's and AK, extra, very limited nades. They hardly have any at all to speak of. And Olaf Meister, he may just give it away here. Oh, grenade out. Not going to do too much damage, but down in sewers. MPK going down. The pain continues. 
Fnatic might take the ground lead for the first time on this map if they can they just figured get this it out. home. Yoshima now knows. Yoshima knows the position. That shot there from Olafmeister gave it away. <laughs> now they know. Now the game is up. LDLC know where he is. They're trying to find the angle, but it's so brutal. Olafmeister can't quite hit the shot either. Uh, and this is actually keeping Olafmeister pinned down while the rest of them sneak their way out. This is interesting. LDLC adapting on the spot. Knowing is half the battle. Now they just have to defeat Fnatic, and that's still not easy. Smith's getting ready here. Might be a smoke to land up uh, at the sniper spot. If they can get into the speed bombs and finally get the 14th round, that's going to be big. And yes, there is the smoke. Pretty much perfect. Death Center going to block the whole entrance here. Pronax with the Molotov out. Follow up grenade as well. Going to do some damage. In fact, it outright kills Smith. He's going to spray on through. Pronax so close with the double, but he's sneaking on in. The bomb goes down. And there's shots he dropped next. Pronax playing a tight game. Right now, happy trying to see if he can hunt down the Swedish leader, but it's not going to be enough. It's a perfect retake. And the captain of Fnatic single handedly defending that bomb site with a triple kill. It's 14 13 of Fnatic. They have the round lead after being behind this whole game. Yeah, glad to see that Pronax, you know, he didn't fall asleep over there with how quiet it's been on the B site. You know, maybe he was just sitting there taking a bit of a nap, but he was able to wake up fast enough to deal with that scenario. Despite LDLC's quick thinking, trying to force that boost out of position to give them the option to go to B, which they haven't had since this play has actually happened. Now, look at this. Smith spies a sniper, and I we need to be watching Smiths at all times here. We need to see if they can stop Olaf Meister. It's been an incredible amount of rounds in a row here. It's been almost unreal. And he is walking around oh. the other side of the map. Yes. Now, does he actually find an angle with the boost over on long? Is that going to be a good oh. enough angle? Happy's over here trying to shoot at him, so he's, they've definitely found different ways of, of shooting at Olofmeister, and he took a little bit of damage there, so yeah, they, they are starting to figure it out, but you can't help but feel it might be way, way, way too late here for LDLC. They, they're going to have to pull out a miracle right now for this to work out. Fnatic are the more favored side. They have all the money they could ever need. They're never going to eco at this point, and it's looking so good, and obviously LDLC are frustrated beyond belief here. But they are trying to make it into the bomb site again. They want to go A. They figured out where the boost is. JW is still in here, and he's one of the top fraggers. Not going to be easy. Oh, uh, yeah. No, definitely not. I mean, they've got the lockdown scenario here. A triangle of doom already set up on this A site with some solid positioning. Fresh smoke to go down to burn more time off this clock. And 35 seconds remain. But LDLC, they're going to put their heads down, and they're going to try and run straight in. Brute force. Can they run and gun and get the shots? That's going to be the question. Flash to lead the way. Smith is there for the entry, but he's not going to get it. Crims from the back of the site is going to line them up. He instantly gets taken out by Kiyoshima, but Kiyoshima gives them a helping hand and takes out shocks in the mix. We're into a three-on-three -three now, and Olfmeister is here with the Scar 20, peeks out Kiyoshima, takes him out of the fight, and NBK now exposed for the barbecue, but Flusha gets the job done, and it's all down to Happy, who's been sneaking up all along, and this is the brilliant play! He doesn't do it! Happy doesn't do it! He tries to get all three, but he gets one and a half instead, and Happy is going to be shattered after that play. He had it, he had the possibility to save his team. Yes, when Happy goes to bed tonight, this one moment is going to haunt him as he closes his eyes, because that should have been the turnaround moment. It should have been the perfect. It's not easy to kill three people. That's not the case, but it could have been brilliant, and it wasn't. 15 to 13, Fnatic, one round away from making it to the semis here. They're trying to figure out the angle once again here. They're trying to see if they could potentially get a cleaner shot. Look at this. Now Happy getting boosted up, but he gets spotted. Olfmeister sees it coming. They've accounted for this, Fnatic. They're one step ahead. They know where they can get spotted from. They know the weaknesses of their play, and it looks like Happy, much to his dismay, has found that out just now. LDLC now down a man. Tournament, or not tournament point, not yet, but... Feels like it. Quarterfinal point here on the line. A spot in the semis, and Fnatic are in a fantastic position. Grenade raining out. Does a little bit of damage onto Shocks there. This is it for LDLC, and all of Meister will pick up the kill on Shocks. Just uh, shooting and running with the auto sniper. The end is near. It's five on three, and Fnatic have summoned an unbelievable comeback. It was 
it was very hard for them in the first half. They only got three rounds. It was 12 to three in the first half. They lost the pistol round on the follow-up half. That should be the end. That's when you lose. And then they pull up an ace out the sleeve and they do it for just every single round. They're on out flush against the double and it's down to Smith. No chance at all. Fnatic, they make their way to the semis of another major tournament here. Pronax with a final kill. 16-13, destruction 